Hi, Zach with Asa Tech here. In hopes of reducing noise on my Mac Pro, our engineers retrofitted it with liquid cooling. Two low noise fans and a 120 millimeter radiator are housed next to the dual pumps. Not only is it liquid cooled, but it's also overclocked. In this video, I'll also see how it compares to a stock 3.2 gigahertz Mac Pro. I'm using a program called ZD Net Clock. It only works on certain Mac Pros and only under OS 10.5. As it turns out, the memory clock speed is the limiting factor here, not letting me go beyond 3.1 GHz. Now, I want to boot into OS 10.6 to run my benchmark. The overclock will hold on a restart, but a shutdown will revert it back to its default speed. So I'm in 10.6 now. I'll be using hardware monitor to view my CPU temps. I'll be testing with an ambient of 26 degrees Celsius. I placed the sound level meter at a half meter from the front of the case. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's hovering at 37.5 decibels while the CPU is at 100% load. Skipping ahead, you can see the CPU temperature is on average 47 degrees Celsius and our Cinebench score is 7.45. That's a substantial increase over the 6.57 this machine scores at its stock speed. Let's see how the stock 3.2 GHz Mac Pro compares. Right off the bat, we can see that the noise level of this machine is a lot higher than mine, at 50 decibels. The CPU temperature is actually identical at 47 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that this Mac is running at its stock speed and not overclocked. And the Cinebench score is just a tad faster at 7.46. So, in the end, the liquid cooling and overclocking allows my system to run at nearly the same speed as the more expensive Mac Pro. At the same time, it does it with half the noise. Now that's thermal management done right. 